Hey guys, welcome to another Junior video. I'm Christian Clovino. And I'm Marina Alcantara. And for today's video, we're going to talk about inkjet printers. Now, to give us a proper introduction to inkjet printers, let's have scientist Janelle. Hi, I'm scientist Janelle. Did you know that a printer allows text and graphic output from a computer and transfer the information to paper? Personal computer printers can be distinguished as non impact and impact printers. Early impact printers were something like automatic typewriters, with a key striking and ink impression on paper for each printer character. Best example for an impact printer is a dot matrix printer. The best known non impact printers are the ink printers, of which several makes a low cost color printer. Inkjet printer is originated in 1867 by Lord Kelvin, also known as William Thompson. But how does an inkjet printer work? Nice question, scientist Jenna. But let's have scientist James to take over. Hi, I'm scientist James. Now, to answer that question, I'll have to explain to you the application of electrostatics and inkjet printers using this diagram. The inkjet printer, which is commonly used to print computer-generated text and graphics, also employs electrostatics. The ink nozzle makes a fine spray of tiny ink droplets. In order to control the motion of ink droplets, they must be given an electric charge. The electron gun can shoot electrons at a droplet as it moves past the gun in order to give it a negative charge. Some of the droplets must not be charged. The electron gun must be able to switch on and off at precise intervals. The gun must turn on and off in the amount of time between one drop and the next. The ink gun sends a steady stream of droplets towards the paper. If they all reach the paper, they will leave a solid black area. In order to form letters, numbers, and images, the printer must somehow prevent some of the droplets from reaching the paper. The capacitor performs this task. It creates a uniform electric field between its plates. Neutral droplets pass through the field unaffected and strike the paper. But since we know in physics that light charges repel each other, droplets with a negative charge are deflected downwards and fall into a reservoir called the gutter. So that's it for today's talk. Before we end the video, we will show you a quick recap.